Welcome to Animation Buffet and today's rig review is about Gorgeous George. And the rig can be found on Gumroad for $15 and it's by Dmitry Kolpakov. If I am butchering your name, I apologize. But you will find the rig on gumroad.com slash dkolpakov. And you can see he has already multiple things on there and you can select George here. As you can see, it's $15. You got everything you need to know here on that site. It has example screenshots of the rig. It is anim picker compatible with posing. And like I said, $15, which I already purchased. So when you open it up in Maya, this is what you get. Not exactly in this pose, but this is what I use for my thumbnail. You can see the cheats in my pose. Well, let's turn this off. And you can see here, this is the rig in its glory with all of the controls. It's very cool to have a cartoony rig. It's not that often that you can see a cartoony creature rig. Very detailed, you can see here. Very reminiscent of the Maximus uh, character in Tangled. Looks overall very cool. And this is the default pose that <laughs> you get. It's very serious, very serious horse. Here's the main controller, which gives you a couple options on the right here, for instance. You can turn the hair off, you can turn the accessories off, you can turn offset controllers off, and so on, so you can look at a different type of look here. I don't see any texture options. So if you look at this here, I don't see anything else uh, where you can modify it a bit more, but it's going to be up to you to give this a bit of a different uh, non-Maximus look. And of course you have your classic controllers in terms of hips. You got, if you change the hips, you got the middle section that you can adjust. You also have the chest that moves separately and all the usual suspects in terms of a spline deformer for your neck and all of this for your head. And what you'll notice here is that if I move the hips all the way back, they stretch, but there's no stretchy control on the right. You actually find these in the chest. If I do this, you have stretchy options here. And if I turn this off, you will see that in the hips, nothing else is moving either. So I return to default and you got follow, you got volume. So if I do any type of changes here, when I move this guy, you can see that with the volume, you can adjust the middle section. Speak of middle, you got a middle section here for any type of bounciness, or if you want to change kind of the silhouette or the line of action there, you have some options there. Going closer here, you got on the back side, you got controls for the hips here, obviously both sides, same thing on the front and even an extra controller down here. So overall, super detailed. Speaking of details, you can see here you got extra deformation or depending on uh, what studio you work for, they can call them Benbos or Bendies, whatever you want to call them. But they are everywhere on the front and the back. Then if you go down here, you have the classic controller to move things here for rotate and translate. Then you have just a separate controller for here that's also in an IK fashion here, which is really cool if you want to do any type of compression, which is super cool. I'm always a big fan of these type of um, IK options. Then you got just a separate, almost like a uh, toe flappiness here, if you need that for extra adjustments. And if you select here, you can also see there are swivel options for the knee. So if you don't want to do this via this controller, you have it via the channel control. I'm also a big fan of that. It keeps the curves a bit clean in the graph editor. You also have a roll, type of foot roll type of thing. And you also have a roll angle change. So if you do this, you can adjust that as well. If you take that and you pull it, there's nothing just yet, but you can make it stretchy. And it has an anti-pop option, which is also really cool. And length options too, if you want to go all kinds of crazy, but also for mainly for posing and this is a better silhouette. So lots of options on the front and the back. They are identical. Then you got the tail. I hate animating tails. <laughs> so here I'm going to take a look at these controls and they give you obviously the FK, but at the same time, IK control. So you can adjust and deform. You can do all kinds of things with that, which again, I'm not a massive fan of tail animation. I prefer wings but this has nothing to do with this review, but I just wanted to always voice my displeasure when it comes to tails here. If you adjust the horse, for instance, if you take this and you move it over and no kind of changes, whatever you're gonna do here, you have the option here, if you do this, it stays put, right? So you take your backside here and the tail 
and all of that stays put because it's in global mode. But if you don't like this, you can change this down to zero here. So whenever you do change the hips, you can see that the tail follows. If you keep the accessories on on the saddle here, you see controls here, which is pretty cool. You can change that and also rotate. Same thing here, put the feet in there and you have all kinds of adjustments. That is pretty neat, I like that. It's on both sides, obviously. There is nothing here to change on these guys here. There's also nothing in the layer. So if you look at your horse, the geometry is uh, locked there and there's nothing in the layers to unlock. You're gonna have to go inside the hierarchy in your outliner to change that in case you want to. And as I showed before, obviously with the head, if you make any type of changes here, you can move your head forward and stretch it out and make it all kinds of crazy. You got options obviously to change that if needed. This goes all the way down to here if you want to. And in this option here, you have IK FK blend to give this a spline or an FK option if you so desire. So overall, very cool. Lots of stretchy options, definitely a cartoony rig option. But what's very, very cool is the face. There are horse rigs out there, but you don't really have a cartoony rig option. And if you look at this, there's a lot of stuff to play with, which is really, really cool. I'm gonna start with the non-usual thing here, that you got the stretchy front section here. Again, if you wanna do any type of changes potentially in the look, but in terms of squash and stretch, little adjustments here and there. Also, chin options, I love it, that's great. You got overall eye socket changes. Speaking of eye, you have your blinks. That seems pretty standard there. And always trying to scale just in case. All that is there if you need to. Obviously you can rotate this in all kinds of ways. And you have eyebrows if you want to do your eyebrow changes here. There is no option as I can see to use these all as one controller. Sometimes you have those separate controllers here, then you have one bigger controller to move them all just in case you want to do big changes and these guys as uh, small adjustments. Not a huge deal, but just wanted to mention that. If you select the eye here, you can move this like this also in FK mode. But as with all, you have an eye box or here it's an eye controller where you can move your eyes around and you can move them also separately. And if I change something here, let me see, on the head, all right, you got the eyes that are parented to the head, but you can turn this off. Yes, you can follow zero. And now you can take this controller out. You can put this wherever you want to, but when you change the head, I stay put. That's for the main eye movement. And if you go in here, just as a little detail here, you have iris size as well for your cartoony elements, which is cool. Then you have on the side here, you have again, form changes. You got all kinds of head and full front part deformation options here. And there's a little bit of interesting change as you pull this, not that you won't ever do go this far, but just as it heads up, but it's cool. It's cool that you can really deform the head to all kinds of smear frames potentially and really make extreme shapes out of that. It's very cool. Just quickly before I go into the mouth, you have of course ear controls. There is no hair control, but that would be pretty detailed. Probably would slow down your rig as well, but so you would have to turn the hair off and add your own hair if you want to animate something there. And look at that. Let me see the face. So you got your jaw control Ooh, with a limit. So there is no crazy breaking. There is no breaking in terms of going all the way down, or all the way up. What's very cool too, there is a squishy factor here you can see here as the lips go up very cool big fan of that so you have that oh look at that so you got your individual lip control but on top of that you can also adjust the teeth ah oh, don't come out but you can bend them that's pretty awesome you got the side control here for the mouth it's very cool yeah lots of details surprised that there is this here surprise I don't I know what I was expecting but that's actually very cool which means also you can probably yeah 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 you can totally change the appearance then to make this uh you know a proper dental uh hygiene based horse or one that was potentially a bit neglected in terms of dentistry it's pretty awesome though I like this and if you go back to the head just to see what you have here you got your stretchy options, like I said, the volume, oh, neck global, head global. 
you got all kinds of options here. Let me see quickly on the nostrils. So you have movement and if you scale, yeah, you can scale them in and out. There's nothing else there. I think that's pretty much it. There are some controllers here that give you uh, overall teeth lowering. And that's probably top and bottom. So you have here the top side some adjustment in the lips here. Just watch out. So if you go all the way up here, it's going to bring those lips up as it is a squishy function there. It's very cool though, I have to say. It's very neat. There you go. So these are all the controls in a nutshell. Pretty cool. And on top of that, you have Anim Picker compatibility. So when I bring up Anim Picker, it comes on the side, let's bring it in. You have that here, the classic Anim Picker with all the options, belly, all the side straps here. And you got that as well. It gives you the front and the back. You got the main controller and the tail and all that good stuff. Pole, a leg, everything is there, ready to go. <laughs> Poor guy, look at this. Ah, why, why did you do this to me? Oh, wait, if I look in here, tongue controls, let me see. Yes, you do have controls for the tongue. You got your rotate and you got your translate to do all kinds of stuff here. Let me see, yeah all the standard stuff, which is very cool. Gotta say, again, a cartoony rig. Poor guy. Ah, it's cool to have. It looks really cool. Lots of options, especially in the face. So I'm hoping to see all kinds of facial animation and dialogue pieces with this horse. Uh, I'm gonna try one myself. I'm gonna say it is now, but probably won't have time until we're done on this current project, which is uh, Star Wars at the moment. So. Uh, I'm probably not allowed to say when it's done, but once I have time, I want to check out this horse and uh, do some tests. Gorgeous George. So there you go. You can get this on Gumroad. Or if you follow my site, Animation Buffet, you see that I just posted that this morning. So if you're curious about more rigs, go on Animation Buffet and you will see all kinds of rigs that I'm posting. And that's it from me. Thank you for watching. If you like this, as always, you can like and subscribe if you want to as I continue to upload on an almost daily basis, almost because not on the weekends. All right, well, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next clip.